Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create discounts and coupon codes on Square. So this is especially important if you want to mark products on sale, especially when it comes to Black Friday or any other type of promotion that you're going to be creating on your online store. This is great for marketing as well as just being able to offer your customers discounts, whether you want to enter in, like I said before, a coupon code uh, or if you want to just mark an automatic discount, that's going to be breaking down here in today's video. Whether you run a online store with Square or if you are utilizing Square for your brick and mortar business with Square's point of sale systems. That's going to be breaking down here in today's video. And before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you have not already signed up with Square, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Square. It will take you right over to Square where you can get started with Square for free today. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial of again, how to create discounts and coupon codes. Now, these are technically two separate things. So first, we're going to be walking through how to create the coupon codes on Square. And then after that, we're going to be diving into how to create those discounts because they do function and operate slightly differently depending on how you want to create and apply those discounts and coupon codes in your online store uh, in order to mark things as a percent off or just depending on how you want to implement those discounts. So first with coupons, the way to get to this part, of course, you do want to be signed in to your Square account. So once you're signed into your Square account, you're going to come over here to the left hand side. You're going to go to the marketing. Now this may be underneath more tools and then marketing. You're going to want to make sure you go to the marketing tab, depending on how your square tools are set up and how you got signed up with square. These might be in a different order, like a slightly different order, depending on what your square account is set up with. Uh, but mouse over, get to the marketing section. This should be under the dashboard customers and marketing. Uh, so that is for me, it's under more tools. Again, it might look slightly differently for you, but you're going to go to the marketing tab. Then once once you're inside the marketing tab, you're going to come over here on the left hand side and click on coupons and that will bring you here to this coupon menu that I've already brought up. And this is where you're able to, as you can see here, reward your customers, reward customers by creating promotions that can be saved and shared across your marketing channels. So we're going to go ahead and click create coupon. And this is if you wanted to create like a discount code or a coupon code. So as you can see here, the default that they have is annual sale one. Uh, so you could mention this name however you want. Uh, a lot of people might do uh, save like save and then maybe save 10. If you're going to be doing like 10% off or uh, maybe $10 off, you can mark things as a fixed discount. Uh, you can also change that coupon type to be a percentage off. So you could do 10%. Uh, you can also set this to be a maximum value as a potential so that, you know, maybe you want to make sure that your margins are still in check with your business. So you're not over discounting products. So you can set a maximum as well. Now that is optional. If you already know that you have enough margin with the percentages that you're going to be marking these coupons with no need to worry there uh, you can also even mark things as free with a certain uh, coupon code so you have a couple different options here you have the you know traditional fixed discount just at a set dollar amount you have the percentage off at a specific percentage uh, and you can type in a specific percentage by selecting other amount and you can enter in that custom amount there or you can go with one of the pre-selected percentages uh, we're just going to stick with 10 percent for this example here uh, and then you also have the free option as well so this might make sense if you're trying to uh, maybe give away a certain item that people add to their cart in addition to everything else. So maybe it's like, hey, you get a free bracelet uh, with every purchase if you use this coupon code. Uh, so that's something you could set up and then specify a specific item to be free. Currently in this store, I only have a shirt uh, for $20 is the only item I have in this store. Um, just for the tutorial. So uh, that is another option. You can mark things as free too. And then you also have the conditions. So you can limit the number of times customers can use a coupon to only one. Uh, you could even also limit the total amount of times that a coupon could be redeemed. So this would make sense if you create some marketing promotion, like, hey, first 500 customers or first 100 customers are able to use this coupon code. And then after that, it won't work anymore. So you can set a specific limit there. Uh, you can also set the limit Com combine, you can combine all of these two. So you can make sure that a customer only uses the coupon one time. Um, you can also not have that as well. It depends on what you want to do. And you can set the specific numbers there. Uh, you can also limit sales to over a certain amount. So this will only apply, um, you know, currently this part is only uh, applicable to Square Online. So for online stores. So there is some differences here with if you're going to be setting up these to be, you know, for your brick and mortar business uh, with Square Point of Sale. You know, this one limiting to sales over a certain amount that only works currently with Square Online. 
Uh, so do keep that in mind with certain coupons, but that is pretty niche. Like if you're not going to be using that function, doesn't really matter. Um, so those are the conditions you can also set. And as you can see here, uh, you can also set up the description. So get a free shirt the next time you visit. That would sort of be, you know, obviously if that was the free item, that that's sort of the description you'd want is get a free shirt the next time that you visit. And you can set the active dates as well. So you can set a start date and an end date. This makes a lot of sense, especially for certain holidays, certain times of the year. If you want a coupon code to be active uh, for a limited time window, uh, you can set the start and end. You can also take the end date off if you want this to always just be a save 10% off coupon code that, you know, maybe you just hand out to certain people or a specific code that maybe you just use as some of your marketing. Maybe you put it on a business card and you just always want that to be an active coupon. You could just leave it off there as well to keep it going uh, unlimited basically. Uh, or you could set the end date there if you want to. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just make this a, a percent off, 10% off, uh, and it will automatically change the description. You get 10% off next time you visit. Uh, and we're not going to even set any limits. We'll just set a start date and end date. Actually, we're going to take off the end date here. And we're going to go ahead and click activate. Um, so we have that there. Now this currently, I think it might only be applying to that t-shirt, uh, but that's essentially how you go about creating a coupon code. This is now active. And whenever anyone goes to check out on your store, uh, again, whether it be online in person, they use the save 10 coupon code. Uh, now this would make a lot of sense, especially online. This really typically is more traditionally used. The coupon codes are more traditionally used in an online sense because, you know, you want your customers to get a code and then type in the coupon code at checkout. I know a lot of people do that with Shopify as well. It's a pretty popular way to apply discounts. Um, so for online stores and e-commerce, this is definitely the route to go and what would make the most sense for, you know, setting up online stores, online sales. But if you do want to do things a little bit differently, you also have the option. So this is sort of the coupon code method. If you want to go through coupon codes and creating discounts that way, alternatively, you can also go to creating an actual discount. And this is more of an automated way of creating discounts. So this is traditionally seen in like retail stores where, you know, 50% off the entire store and it's just automatically applied at checkout. That's essentially what these type of discounts would be. You know, the coupons are better for more targeted marketing and maybe marketing to specific customers or putting it on business cards, things like that, where they actually have to go and then type it in in the future. Uh, whereas automatic ones might be better for like seasonal sales and things like that. So to create these, what you need to do is go to items. So on the left-hand side here, under tools, uh, this one, um, we're going to go to the tools under items, right? So we're under items. So, so you need to make sure you're under items. It might be under more tools for you. So items and orders and then items. Uh, once you have selected the items, it will bring you to this page here. And then you just come over here to the left-hand side and go ahead and click discounts. And this will bring up the discounts menu. And as you can see here, discounts can be applied to individual items or entire sales on any device running your point of sale. So in my opinion, you know, running a traditional discount is better for point of sale because it's going to be automatically applied. People will just see that. Maybe you just market it with things in your store, like 50% off these items. And you set these automatic discounts ahead of time so that customers know when they go to checkout, it'll apply based on the signage that you maybe put in your, in your business. That that's what, in my opinion, would make the most sense. You know, coupon codes may be better for online targeted marketing. So we're going to go ahead and create a discount. All you have to do is click, click that blue button. And then this will be coming up with the create discount option. Uh, so you need to name your discount. So you could set up things like 20% off, uh, buy one, get one free. Um, we're going to keep this pretty simple again here. We're just going to do like a 20% uh, percent off and it's uh, percentage based and we're going to do 20%. Um, you can also select an amount based discount. You can also create a variable amount and a variable percentage. If you had a variable percentage uh, or a variable amount, that would be based on the amount at checkout. Um, so you would have to manually enter that. So depending on how your business is run, you might want to just go with the amount or percentage, but you can do a variable as well um, if you do want to do that in your business. So we're just going to stick with the basic percentage one. Uh, then you have, this is uh, of course applied just to the single location I have set up here within this test store, uh, this test business here under Joe Schmo. <laughs> That's what I use for pretty much all tutorials here on Square. Uh, and then we have an automatic discount and this is where you can apply rules uh, where the discount is automatically, you know, applied to specific times, quantities, items, or categories. 
Um, and if you know multiple automatic discounts are applicable, greater discounts will be applied. I would recommend probably reading some of the learn more, some of the uh, additional help articles if you want super specific granular information. Um, but if you go ahead and click apply the discount rules, so this is where you can apply the discount to specific items such as like holiday items. You might want to say, hey, 20% off all holiday seasonal items in your store. You set up a sign and then it will automatically apply. You just go through and select the items or the category that you have then put those items in your store uh, under or those products. Then next, you also have the option to do a quantity uh, based discounts. So you can apply once a certain number of items are purchased. So this would be good, you know, like a quantity based discount would be a buy one, get one free, something like that. You also have a customer group. So you can also set specific customer groups. This is good if you're utilizing like the loyalty programs and things like that. Or if you have a certain, you know, this would be quote unquote regulars. If you have a certain customer group that you've created, you can then go in and apply these discounts as well. So you can give regulars a specific discount automatically uh, applied to their bill. Uh, so maybe if you have like a membership club or, or any type of thing like that, you can apply that discount to that specific group, which can be a good way to just, you know, create um, just another way to create discounts essentially. So we're going to just do we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to click for item or category. Um, you can also add all items. So in that case, it would just be apply to all items. Uh, you can also add the individual items or the item categories. Again, in this store, I just have the shirt. So I guess I'm just going to apply it to the shirt. Uh, you could just add every item as well if you don't care specifically about uh, the rules. Uh, but we're just going to apply it to all items underneath the automatic discount so that it's applied to all items. Next, you have the discount schedule. So you can set this schedule uh, to be during certain days of the week or time. So if you're in a restaurant business, you know, if you're wanting to set up a happy hour, this is where you would set up the happy hour. If you're running a restaurant uh, with a brick and mortar business and you can set up happy hour times and set that automatic discount so that the happy hour pricing is automatically applied to those products um, and those items like such as, you know, certain certain beers or certain wine or even sushi. I know sushi has typically they'll do happy hour for sushi. So you can set the specific schedule here. So you can select, you know, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, start times, end times, pretty easy, pretty straightforward to go about setting up. If you want to do it that way, you can also set a date range. So this would make more sense if you're maybe running a, a traditional retail business. If you're not in the restaurant space, maybe you're running a retail business. You can set things up sort of like a black Friday sale where it starts and ends at a certain day. So this would be like a seasonal sale. Again, this is things you could create signage for as well. Uh, and then you also have a minimum spend. So you could also set a minimum spend. Um, you could also take off the date range. You know, if you want to, you, know, you can just set a start date to uh, now and then it doesn't end or you create a specific start and end date. Uh, then you also have the set minimum spend. So if you want to have a minimum spend, uh, this would make sense if it's like, hey, buy at least $50 and get $10 off. That's sort of the example here. Um, that would also apply, you know, spend $50, get 20% off. You kind of have those type of discounts. It's another way about going about things. So you can set minimum subtotals for your customers. So uh, let's just say it's like $30 minimum and then they get the 20% off. You also have the maximum discount value. So this is another way that you can sort of protect your business a little bit as well so that you know people don't accidentally <laughs> get too much of a discount and you lose money. Um, sometimes you are just trying to liquidate things and, and I get that and that makes sense, but you can set some guardrails here um, you know, for certain percentage-based discounts just so that the maximum um, amount is not you know, over a certain threshold. Um, if you want to, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, typically you probably wouldn't have that issue as long as you're baking, you know, your overall profit margins into the business and the percentage off, you know, it's only ever going to be that 20% off this maximum discount value, um, does only apply to percentage based discounts. And that would just make it so that someone couldn't get like $300 off. You could set that as a maximum discount that they could get, but technically they would still be getting that 20% off of the higher dollar amount that they're spending. So just depends on how you want to go about setting up things. You also have some advanced settings here as well, such as like a passcode um, that you can require so that maybe if you just want to have a manager check things under making sure that these discounts go through correctly, um, you could set that up and then maybe take it off later. Um, and then you also have the discount after taxes. Um, as you can see here, this should only be used for manufacturer discounts and instant rebates, again, because you do want to make sure that you are 
doing the taxing and discounts correctly in your business. So um, that is more specific. I wouldn't necessarily recommend checking that in case it, unless it is really just for manufacturer discounts or instant rebates. Um, so besides that, you want to make sure that the taxing is going as normal in your Square store. And then you go ahead and click save and then it will create that discount and that will automatically apply to the items that you have applied it to uh, in your store and whether it be with point of sale uh, or with online. I get that you know these type of automatic discounts are more for point of sale and you know more traditionally the coupon codes are more for online stores or square online so guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful of checking out how to add you know coupon codes and discounts especially these automatic discounts to your square uh, store in your square business again guys if you found this tutorial helpful be sure to smash that like button if you have not already signed up for square and you're on the fence you know, you can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash square. It'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with Square for free today. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. Again, guys, if you found this tutorial helpful on how to create those discounts on Square, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.